What's up, guys? Curse of Man here, Comic Book Wednesday. Uh, got some cool books to show you this week. Not a very big haul at all. Um, they're actually kind of small. Uh, music in the background is cursive. Um, shouldn't be too loud. I wouldn't. I don't think so. Sure. No, it should be cool. Uh, it's off their album Domestica. Probably one of the best albums they've got out. Definitely recommend you check it out. Uh, on to the books I got. First, I'm going to talk about. Um, Kind of a couple of things I read, read and started reading last week. Um, as y'all know, my good buddy Ben sent me a package, a couple of videos back with some uh, bunch of Thor books, and uh, he sent me Ultimate Thor, and um, I had the first one, so I had not been able to read the rest of them, and uh, he, you know, was nice enough to send me all of them, so. Uh, Read all four of them, and the story was awesome. I love it. I mean, the ultimate books to me are just, in my opinion, it's like the artist gets free roam at just turning the character into whatever they want to, you know, how they feel it should be, and, and they don't kind of have to stick within a guideline of what the character, the norm would be, or whatever, I guess you would call it. And uh, it kind of gave uh, Thor more of a badass approach, and that's, that's how I like to see it. Sort of how Jason Aaron's doing right now with Thor, God of Thunder, is, is how Thor should be. Um, the one he sent me is was signed. The first one was signed by the uh, the uh, inker, and it's framed up on my wall up here already. With my I got a whole my walls all full of signed comics and stuff. So um, I can't show you that one that he sent. So you always have to check my other video out. But uh, Ben, this is um, that. Uh, variant I told you I had of number one is the uh, J. Scott Campbell. That's who we were trying to think of. And uh, that's this was sent to me by Cali Collectibles a while back. It's really awesome. So yeah, that's that. This is the, the book I'm talking about. The story was just amazing. Uh, Thor is in like present day and he's lost his memory and they're, they're kind of like reborn into new bodies. Him and uh, uh, Balder the Brave uh, Thor's uh, brother, and um, it's not a true brother, but they call each other brothers. Uh, and um, I'm not going to go into the whole story because I, I want y'all to read it. It's awesome. But anyways, they're reborn. They go, and Loki, of course, is screwing with them. And he comes back with some Nazi soldiers to take over Asgard, and uh, it's just it's just really cool. So definitely make, recommend y'all checking this out. And uh, yeah, that variant's pretty badass. Very cool looking variant there. So, anyways, that's the uh, Long Beach Comic Con variant, by the way. So, that's that. And uh, also, I'm gonna go ahead and show this too. Um, me and my wife are terrible about when we buy Christmas presents. We usually can't wait till Christmas to give them to each other. So. Um, I haven't given her any of mine yet, but she gave me this one because it was funny. She had ordered a book that she in intended it to be autographed. So she gets the book and she didn't see the autograph and come to find out it was at the end of the book. So it kind of confused her, but, uh, she had ordered me a book and it never said in the description that it was autographed, but it was. So she got me a tough shit by Kevin Smith. Y'all know who Kevin Smith is and you see right here where he signed the front of it. So, uh. I'm in chapter four, I think, in this, so it's an awesome book so far, it's really cool, so, yeah, hence the title of my video, this is because of that, so, yeah, super excited, so far the first four chapters have been awesome, so, y'all check this out too. Alright, now I'll show you what I got this week, um, I've already put the call out to, uh, a couple of my friends, Ben, uh, Gary, um, Ben's comic shop didn't have it, but I'm looking for 698 Ultimate uh, Amazing Spider-Man because I did not pick that up on this past when it came out. So if any of you guys got an extra copy or whatever you're wanting to sell or trade, let me know because I need 698. I don't have it, so I picked up 699 this week. Um, you know, if uh, Gary is able to find one at his comic shop, I definitely will take more than one. You know, I don't care. Uh, anyway, so yeah, six ninety nine. <clears throat> Deadpool number three. That's a pretty cool cover there. Rick, 
Richard, Tricky Dick Nixon, Wade, Mouthy Merc, Wilson. That is freaking hilarious. Plus, uh, Checkers, the dog. <laughs> this, this, these covers are freaking amazing. I swear to God, they're the best. So, yeah, Deadpool number three. And, uh, like I said, this is a freaking short ass haul. Uh, the last book I got this week was, um, Thunderbolts number one. It's the original Rigman cover, which is freaking badass. I mean, you can't go wrong with this group of people here. Electro, she don't look too bad up to me either. I like that outfit there. And, um, I haven't read this yet, so I don't know. Me and my son are trying to figure out if that's Venom or... He says it's Venom. I mean, who knows. I, I thought maybe Scarlet Spider or something, but... Who knows. Anyways, but anything with Deadpool in it, you gotta pick up, so... And Red Hulk, he's pretty badass, so... Got that one. And I also got the, uh... The Baby variant. Scotty Young. So cool. Scotty Young's parents have been awesome. Uh, I love them. So, that was it uh, from my books. Um, like I said, kind of a small deal. Uh, I think Black Kiss number two, issue five came out, but of course my shop didn't have it for some reason. I'm going to have to check Midtown to see. Um, uh, maybe it didn't. Maybe it comes out next week or something. But, uh... I didn't get to pick up Luther Strode, they didn't have that at my shop. I know Ben, you told me about that, so I'll have to check for that later. Um, I'm not trying to think if there's anything else that came out that I didn't get, but I was happy just to get these books here. I picked up a Christmas present for a good buddy of mine, childhood friend, so I'm not going to say that just in case he watches this video. But uh, that was it for me, I'm going to show you right quick, my little boy wanted to show you what he got. He always picks up a few things here and there at the thing and he got this really cool Goku um, action figure. It's pretty pretty good size. It's like a I'd say it's probably about eight or nine inches maybe. Really cool articulation and you know stuff, whatever. Neat looking skull on it. Yeah. Pretty bad. So that is it. Um appreciate you guys watching. Uh look forward to watching y'all's videos I've had a crazy work week and you know all y'all that I talk to on a regular basis know what I'm talking about so it's just hopefully I can get through this week and get to the weekend so I can have a little time off away from that craziness but uh um, hope y'all are doing all right big shout out to all my friends uh uh Mongo Stomp Tom 07 Gary Onesie Angelique Gear Mr. Fix It Smash Ben, all you guys, Hippies Collectibles, Cali's Collectibles, Warzone Spider, um, all y'all, appreciate y'all watching, commenting, um, all my new subs that I picked up here recently, I really do appreciate it guys, uh, I try to comment back to y'all off my phone, but it really doesn't work real well, it kind of acts crazy sometimes, so it's hard for me to comment on my phone, so I have to do it at night time, whenever I get a chance to get on the computer. But, uh, let's see, I don't know if I'm going to ramble too much in this, but anyways, just want to say I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, look forward to seeing y'all's videos. Y'all have a great uh, rest of the week, uh, holiday season, so y'all get ready for Christmas coming up pretty soon. So I will uh, talk to y'all later. Take care.